Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. So I'm a little nervous about today's video. So I am gonna be trying out the shingling method for a wash and go for the first time ever. Never tried the shingling method. I've never really been interested in the idea just because I feel like, I love clump curls. I'm not usually a fan of, you know, when my, my curls are separated. I know that, for example, a product that separates your curls is not gonna give the same impact as, you know, using the shingling method. Um, and I'm just curious. More than anything, I'm curious. I've heard mixed reviews from everybody. So a few of you guys have recommended that I try the shingling method for a wash and go. So you guys say that you get the best definition when you use the shingling method and I just find that hard to believe. Well, not hard to believe, sorry. I'm sure that's y'all, your truth, but I just find that hard to believe for myself. Like I just don't see how separating my curls is gonna give me more definition than when my curls, curls are clumped together, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense. But we're gonna see. So um, right now I have already deep conditioned, I washed my hair, deep conditioned my hair, um, and I've already applied my leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner I use today is the Floor and Curl. Y'all don't mind my broken nail that I'm so mad about. My nail broke in the shower today and I was pissed, so mad. And this set is so cute. Like, oh my gosh, if you haven't seen it on Instagram, here's your little close up. But anyway, that's besides the point, y'all don't judge me. Um, but yeah, so based off of the few videos that I've seen, in order to shingle your hair, you want to make sure that it's thoroughly detangled, which my hair is already pretty detangled because, you know, I already have my leave-in conditioner, but just to ensure that there are no extra knots or I didn't miss anything, I'm using my Tangle Teaser. No, I'm sorry. Tangle, Tangle, Tangle Teaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Tangle Teaser brush. All right, so we have this section here that's thoroughly detangled. Why am I nervous? For what? What's the worst that could happen, right? I mean, I don't know. I think my main concern is that it takes so long. I know this is going to take a minute to do, and I'm going to be so hurt if it doesn't look good. And a few people also said that doing the shingling method helps them preserve their wash and goes, like it lasts longer that way, and I just don't see how that can be the case for me, but we'll see. Um, I will say though, I probably won't be able to test that theory out because I do have to wash my hair soon because I'm actually getting a protective style soon. So I'm super excited about that. But anyways, so the gel I'll be using for this wash and go is none other than Jello Shot. I had asked you guys, what type of gel do you guys use when you're shingling? Do you use like a hard hold gel, medium hold, soft hold, you know what I mean? And I got mixed, mixed answers, mixed responses. I'm gonna go ahead and stick to a hard hold gel um, just because that's what my gut is telling me. So let me go ahead and apply this much. Come on. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right here. So I guess like this. Like, and that's another thing. How do you know how big it's supposed to be? I don't want to over separate it or over shingle. Okay, let me just apply a generous amount of gel first. And then they say that you take a piece and just. Oh, <laughs> granted, I know the back of my hair is really tight, like a lot tighter than the rest. So, and it coils up a lot more. So I guess just, okay. I guess, yeah. <laughs> am I doing it right? Yeah, let me know. Does this look right? Is this how it's supposed to look? Or am I wasting my time? Let me know. <laughs> Dude, even though it'll be too late, but whatever. You guys see my roots? Like, I don't know if this, this frizziness, like if I'm supposed to, I guess, add more. Yeah, let me do that. Let me just. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. All right, so just add a little more gel to my roots when I'm separating, that's the key. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I think what my problem is, so I go in with the gel, I shingle, then I have to go in with gel again to secure my roots. Like that's just too much for me. Like once I've shingled, I should be done. But no, I shingle and then I have to go in with more gel to ensure that, you know, the roots are not puffy and stuff. And I don't know. Like I don't see myself <laughs> doing that for every single wash day. Like nah. Uh-uh. But does anybody else have that problem when they're doing the shingling method? All right, y'all. So we had a brief intermission, but we're back. And one major difference I will say between styling my hair using this method versus my regular method, which is, by the way, if you're new here, I usually do the smoothing, breaking, and praying hands. Um, I do all three of those methods when I style my wash and goes, but my hair is already almost dry. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm using Jello Shot. You guys know that the crunch on Jello Shot is real, but I feel like my hair is gonna dry a lot faster this way. Like, I don't see myself waiting until midnight for my hair to fully dry. Right now it's 8.45, but it looks so cute. It really does. I can't wait to see it dry. Look back here. You know, I love to show these curls back here some love. They cute, y'all. They cute. I also took this piece here because, oh, you guys already know that this part of my hair is just be doing its own thing. This is definitely giving, um, like, uh, I need to cut this shit off, but I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> I'm going to tuck this. And on this side, this side is more dense than this side, so this is going to take even longer. Not looking forward to it. Now I know what I'm doing, I guess. So, it should come a little easier for me. One last thing I would say I'm struggling with on this side of my hair, so because it's so much more dense, um, it's kind of harder to gauge like how big the sections are, you know what I mean? But damn, this is taking forever! And there's literally no rushing this, this style. Well, not the style, but this technique. If you rush it, you're guaranteed to get crappy results, so. And another thing, for those of you who haven't tried the shingling method, you also want to try and section off your hair the best way possible because when you go in with these little pieces to separate and not like, you know, taking hair from this section or pulling it from a section that I've already done, you know. All right, you guys, so I finished styling my hair. This is what it's looking like. Like I was telling you guys earlier, this side already is feeling dry. Just the roots and some sections are still a little damp. While this side, of course, is I just finished styling. So of course this side is still really damp. But I feel like honestly, within like an hour, I should, my hair should be fine. And I don't even think I need to sit in the dryer. Well, I will just because it's, I ain't gonna tell you what time it is, but it's about to be my bedtime. So I may just sit in the dryer just to speed things up a little bit. But if I were to have styled my hair using the shingling method on a regular day, like early in the day and I let it air dry, I think I would be good in like a couple hours. But first few things I'm gonna say is these two products don't mix well together. Um, I mentioned this leave-in in my week of favorites. You guys know I've used Jello Shot quite a few times and I've never had any issues with flaking, but I guess these two products just don't go well together. I don't know if you guys noticed some of the flaking I had in my hair when I was styling it. Not so bad now, but look, for example, this was off, this came out of the brush. So like a bunch of like clumping and stuff like that. And number two, overall, I just feel like my hair feels really light. It definitely feels really light and it looks so small. I feel like I have no hair. It just looks so little, so small, and it's only gonna get smaller. This side is still wet, so it's only gonna get smaller. I will get back to you guys once my hair is fully dried, before I stretch my hair, and then of course after I've stretched it, so that won't be until about tomorrow. So this is what day two hair is looking like. And like I was telling you guys yesterday, I should have used one of my like go-to combos. Cause as much as I love Jello Shot, um, I actually prefer pairing Jello Shot with like a cream or something to kind of soften the hold because, or maybe like a heavier leave-in conditioner because the crunch is just, 
it's too much like it is too much y'all it's giving pasta uncooked pasta like right before you throw it in the boiling water that's what it's giving and like i know y'all hear it too it's too much and then i don't know i don't know what i was thinking this is my first time doing the shingling method i just thought that i would need a stronger hold gel i'm gonna go ahead and stretch my hair and try and you know make this look a little more presentable um so i'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out and um see what i can do oh my gosh and i think i put too much gel in some sections to be honest with y'all because look yeah i just should have added a little more water so that i don't have this straight piece got me looking like my hair is heat damaged but anyways let me go stretch my hair okay hold up i definitely scrunched and stretched the hell out of my hair because that crunch was just not gonna cut it my hair feels really, really soft. I was able to get a good a majority majority of the crunch out, so my hair is not it's nowhere near as hard as it was before. It's a lot softer. It's no longer giving uncooked spaghetti. It's no longer giving uncooked ramen. Now it's just giving elongated wash and go with like a little bit of crunch, which is okay. This is the type of crunch that I'm I'm okay with, you know. I could rock this type of crunch. But uh, my hair is super defined. I have a little frizz over here. Um, because this part of my hair, this section is a little harder to define than the rest. But I also think it's time for me to get a trim. So my thoughts, I feel like I definitely, I could try this again. I could try the shingling method again. I don't think I've perfected it, obviously. I mean, it's been my, it's my first time trying it. One, I want to do it on freshly trimmed hair. Two, I want to use, if I'm using Jello Shot, I need to pair it with something else or something that's not as strong of a hold. So like maybe the Talia Wajid Curl Definer and Jello Shot or the Curl Definer and the Main Choice Gel. I think that might be a vibe. And I'd love to see how this wash and go evolves, but my hair is looking a lot better than how it looked before i stretched it because before i stretched it it was not giving it wasn't giving so now i got some fluff i got my hair is a lot softer i have some movement it's not as crunchy my hair just feels so flowy like look at that my hair never does that when it's dry like hardly ever does that but let me know what you guys think in the comments have you guys ever tried the shingling method what were your thoughts and what do you think of my results how do you think I did by styling it? It's not perfect. Like I said, this is my first time trying the shingling method, but I don't think I did a bad job. It came together really nicely. And these coils in the back, hello, like, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of my results or this product combo. Well, no, I don't actually don't want to try this product combo because the flaking you can also see on my shirt. I got some flaking going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I will see you guys next week. Bye.